guys, so today we're going to be going through my palettes, decluttering. This is going to be more so a collection video, um, because I did just go through these, and I did declutter about 15. I gave them away to friends, so we're just going to go through these, and yeah. Alright, so the first thing I have here is just a BoxyCharm and Z palette, little magnetic palette in here. I haven't put anything in here yet, but I'm definitely going to keep this. This isn't a palette, it's a color icon. Little bronzer and reserve your cabana from Wet and Mild. Keeping that. Um I have a Maybelline Master Blush uh, palette here. I really love this. I just recently got this. This color is really beautiful here, so I'm gonna keep this. This is my favorite favorite thing in the world. This is the Sleek Makeup um, Highlighting Palette in Solstice. I even have a backup of it. I'm definitely keeping this. I love this icy purple right here, so this is staying. I have this little IBY Beauty Trio in Three's Company. And I'm going to keep this. I think I'm going to keep it for the summertime because I think for traveling this is going to be really nice. This color right here is so just like beautiful and foil. And you can create a really nice look with this palette, so I'm going to keep that. Um, this is a newer addition to my collection. This is the Balm Luminizer Sisters. I got this so I could try out Mary Luminizer. This is a really nice uh, blush topper Cindy Luminizer. I have not used Betty Luminizer yet, but I'm going to keep this. Because I haven't really gotten to play around with it yet. This one's pretty. Just a little dark. So I'm going to probably wait till summer. This is one I know I'm going to get rid of. It's the City Color Barely Exposed palette. This was nice, you know, a while ago, but I'm going to get rid of it now. Um, I like these three colors here, but the rest of the palette I don't use. I haven't touched this in probably a year, so I'm going to give that away. I have four of these, like, e.l.f. quad palette type of things. This is their illuminating palette. I'm keeping this. Um, they're not necessarily highlighters. I like to use them as like brightening powders for my face just to add some illumination. So I'm going to keep that. This is a new addition. This is the bronzer palette. I just got this a couple weeks ago. I haven't really got to try it out very much so I'll keep that. This is their blush palette in the shade light. I'm going to actually declutter this. I haven't used this in a really long time. Just blush palettes. I don't know. They're not my favorite. I prefer to reach for singles. So I'm not give that away. I have their contour palettes. And I think I'm going to declutter this. I don't use this. It's nice if you're on a budget and you don't have any other, you know, contouring palettes, I guess. This would be really great, it's only $6, but I don't need it, so I'm going to give that away. Um, I have a Laura Mercier Baked Eye Color Palette. I'm honestly not sure what like the name of this is, it doesn't have a name on the back. Um, I've had this for honestly many years. My sister-in-law gave it to me, so that's why I've been keeping it, because it was really nice of her, but I haven't reached for this in like probably two years, so I'm going to go ahead and clutter this. I have three of the eight pan palettes from e.l.f. I mean, Wet n Wild, sorry. This one I recently just got. This one is Poster Child. So I'm going to keep this so I can play around with it. I really like those colors. I have Petal Pusher. This one's really pretty. I love purples. This Wet n Wild eyeshadow is like in the eight pans. They're so, so good. This one is Comfort Zone. If I could open it. I love this color right here. It's really beautiful duochrome. You can't see it because my lighting sucks, but this one's a great palette. I have this Vintage by Jessica Leap Skin. This is a little highlighting duo. My sister literally did this yesterday. She dug her nail into it, but I'm going to actually pass this on because these are both too dark for my skin. So I have a friend in mind for that. Ooh. This was a really disappointing product for me. This is a BH Cosmetics Nude Rose Highlighting Palette. I'm getting rid of this. It's very chalky. Just not good quality. Very disappointing. So, 
just they're so chalky I hate it um, the last thing in here is this little duo from Wet n Wild. It's their contouring palette. I love this. As you can see, I put pan on this. Made a little dent in here. So I'm hanging on to this. Um, this I know I can pass on as well. This is the Shine vs. Matte LA Colors palette. Um, I got this just out of interest. I wanted to see what they were like. And they're not bad at all. If you see this, you know, don't hesitate picking it up if you don't have shades like this. But I have shades like this in other palettes, so I don't need... You know, something like this. So I'll pass that on. I have three elf palettes. The first one is a prism palette. This one is in naked. The shade right here is falling apart. Um, these are really beautiful, but I don't reach for them. So I'm just going to pass this on. They're really nice. Like, they're really gorgeous. If you see this and, like, these colors interest you, I think they also have one other um, prism palette. If these colors interest you, you know, definitely pick it up. It's very nice, but I just don't reach for those. I have two of the Mad for Matte palettes. This one right here is the original. This one's great. Oh, I love it. I'm definitely keeping these. These are just so good, so easy to blend. Really great mattes from the drugstore. Like, seriously. They're super good. If you find these, and you want good matte shadows, like... They're only $10. They're amazing. I have this Style Essentials eyeshadow palette. My little sister got this for me, so I'm going to keep it. The shimmer shades in here are actually really, really, really nice. I think that's from um, TJ Maxx. Alright, this is a palette. I just got this two days ago. This is the NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. I wore it yesterday, and I loved it. I put these two colors on, and I really like this palette so far, so I'm really excited to play with it more. I have these two Studio Makeup on the Go palettes. The first one I have here is the Warm Up palette. I've been going back and forth with this one if I want to keep it or not, but I think I'm going to keep it because I don't have... I think this would be good for traveling in the summer. And then I also have the warm, I mean, cool down palette. And these are right up my alley, so I'm definitely going to keep this one. I have this BH Cosmetics Gold Rush eyeshadow palette. I'm going to keep this for the fall time. I got this as kind of like a free gift with a purchase at BH. And I think these colors will be nice for the fall. Um, this palette, I literally just got this yesterday. It's the bronze palette from Essence. I swatched them in store and they looked really nice, so I picked it up. For real, the paper is just so nice, and it's only five dollars for this palette. Um, I have the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. <gasps> oh my god, somebody dug their freaking nail into that! Man, I'm salty. All right, whatever, it's fine. Um, but this is a great palette, and I love it. Um, I have the L'Oreal La Palette Nude Intense. So, I have this one. I think I might declutter this. I don't use this very much. It is a nice drugstore palette, but I just don't reach for it. I have this Coastal Sense Brush and Bronzer Mini Palette. I'm going to keep this. I love these bronzer shades down here. I use them almost every day. Um, I have the Tardist Pro Palette. This one right here, um, my boyfriend got this for me, so this is not going anywhere. I used this on my eyes yesterday. I love this palette. I know there's been mixed reviews, but I personally think it's a great palette. I have the Anastasia Contour Kit in Fair or Light to Medium. I love this contour shade right here, so I'm going to keep this. Or actually, I might just try to put this into one of my Z palettes. I think that's what I'll do for this video. Because that's really the only color that I use. Um, I have two of the Coastal Sense Reveal palettes. I have the third one. I'm going to declutter this. It just confuses me. I don't like the shades in it, so I'm going to pass this on. I'm going to keep this one, though. I did use this on my eyes the other day, and it just, like, rekindled my love for it. So, I'll keep this one. I love the tones in here. They're really beautiful. Um, the shimmer shades in here are really chalky. I don't like them, but I do like the mattes, surprisingly. Um, I have this Ofra Pro Magnetic Palette. So... These four right here are all Ofra shadows. This is, these two are both Makeup Geek. 
this is Urban Decay, these two are the Balm, and this is Makeup Geek Blush. So I'm going to keep all of these that are in here. I have the Kat Von D shade in my eye palette. This is a little beat up. I love this palette. This is my very first high end palette purchase, and I love it. It's a great matte palette. It's just a really nice basic one to have. Um, this is my one and only Morphe palette. I got this quite a while ago. I want to say about two years ago. Um, but I'm going to keep this. I like it. I love these pinks in here. That's really why I'm keeping it because I like the pinks. So, I'm not the biggest fan of Morphe shadows. Honestly, I have the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette on my very first Lorac palette and I love it. It's beautiful. I love honestly every single color color in here. They're all just like amazing. Like, oh my god. I love them. This is a great palette. If you were able to get your hands on it, awesome. I have this Pixie by Petra, like second edition holiday kit type of thing. Comes with a bunch of stuff in here. I'm gonna declutter this. I don't use it, so let's go in. The last one I have in here is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible palette. I'm keeping this. I love the eyeshadows in here. I love this highlight shade. So we will be keeping this. So I um declutter. I'm decluttering all of these ones and then I'm keeping the rest of these ones. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.